Welcome to German in New York, the podcast about the German-speaking community in New York City. We interview Germans, Austrians, and Swiss about their life and work in the Big Apple. For today's episode, we had the pleasure to do a recap interview with Patrick Obermuyela, ambassador of the BVB Borussia Dortmund Soccer Club. Our loyal listeners might remember our first interview back in May before the BVB US tour in July. And we just wanted to check back with Patrick to see how the tour went. Welcome back, Patrick. Thanks so much for taking the time again. Yes, thank you for having me. <laughs> Um, how was the U.S. tour? Can you tell us more about the two games that took place? I think it was a it was a great tour overall. It was uh, well organized. It was uh, it were beautiful cities we've been to Seattle and uh, South Bend actually near Chicago or well, not far away at least. Um, we had a amazing time there. We did a lot of uh, content, media content stuff. I mean, the team around the team. Uh, the team itself uh, had, had a lot of fun visiting those cities and, and uh, doing some activations. Um, and the games were, were pretty amazing. The team presented its, uh, itself in a pretty early and good form, uh, which was amazing to see. There's a lot of talent. Uh, the, the players that, that were new really, uh, really... Uh, really shown that they are that they're probably uh, be a, a, a good benefit for this season as well so overall it was a successful tour and we were happy to 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 be part of it so do you have a personal highlight of the US tour or anything special uh, for me in particular I mean visiting Seattle for the first time uh, overall it was quite amazing I, I, I love the city uh, all that water we we have seen uh, there all the the amazing stuff you could do we were visiting the Amazon headquarters and uh, to get a sense of what they are doing behind the scenes is, was quite amazing um, interesting stuff just the weather was beautiful so I had a fantastic it was kind of like a vacation already but still it was work but no it felt great actually. that's cool it really was amazing yeah so, talking about Amazon, I heard some really exciting news. I heard uh, of a new documentary about the BBB yes. available on Amazon yes. soon. Right, there is, yeah. And what's the name of it? Inside Borussia Dortmund. Um, it, it's, it's just incredible what, what the, the guys have done. Um, there was a camera team uh, traveling with the team for the last uh, five months of the season, so the second half of last season. And they were basically allowed to go anywhere. So what people can see now is what really happens behind closed doors, inside the locker room, even at home, uh, at some players' homes. Uh, a lot of people will be familiar with the All or Nothing uh, documentaries about American football, rugby also, and, uh, and um, Manchester City done it as well in, in, in English football. But Borussia Dortmund is the first team in, in German football history that has allowed uh, a camera team to follow them every step. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, just in, it's just amazing what you can see, how many insights you will get. There's a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, obviously. So it's, it's just great. It's entertaining, but it's, it's really interesting to see. I can't wait to see it. It sounds really good. Um, the news don't stop here. We also heard about a new collaboration that is called BBB International Academy America. What exactly is that about? <laughs> so BBB partnered with uh, U Soccer International Academy, which is a already existing uh, academy uh, organization in the U.S., and our sponsor Puma, and founded the BBB International Academy on the 1st of July. Um, there are like seven training centers all over the U.S., especially in the South, And uh, that's obviously a, a, a reaction to the, the, the growing demand and interest in, in soccer in the U.S. and in the BBB itself. So what we're trying to do there is to provide an authentic uh, experience, a BBB experience, and a holistic insight to, to, uh, to professional soccer or the professional soccer environment. Mm -hmm. um, it's an opportunity for young players between, I think it's between six and 19 years, like that, to, to do the same stuff that, that Marco Royce and Mario Götz and obviously Christian Pulisic, who's unfortunately not, not uh, a part of our team anymore. But he, he's been uh, on that path. And 
they will get an opportunity to to do the same stuff to train like these guys and 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 really get a feel of what it's what it's what it means mm, to, to cool. become professional and to play for the BBB. And what we do from our side, I mean, obviously Puma, our sponsor, is uh, is um, is supplying uh, uh, jerseys and, and and material that is needed. The academy has already has uh, facilities and, and and partners with them. What we do is. Um, is contribute knowledge and experience from our coaches and our, uh, our training, our strategies, our um, methodology, and uh, and just uh, yeah, give them a feel of what what it means to to wear black and yellow. So that's a that's a I think it's a great stuff, a great great thing to to have and to to uh, to to run in the U.S. Uh, and I, I'm sure I'm going to visit one of these uh, academies pretty soon. I did something similar in Asia already, and it was great to see how it works out over there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a success in the U.S. as well. It sounds very much like the youth camps BBB has in Dortmund. Is it, is it like that or right. is, it, right. is it different? Or? No, it's, it's actually kind of, kind of similar. So you will get a feel of what, it's, what it means to, to train under these kind of conditions and, and with coaches that do the same stuff that, that are done in, with our professional team and our youth teams, obviously, as well. So it's, it's an authentic uh, thing to, to, to get a real inside look and inside feel of uh, what it means to, to take the path or try to, to go the path that, that these guys like Mario Götz and Christian Pulisic Uh, all went since they were youth players with our club Marco Royce as well and then became pro in the end so mm, I'm excited to see where this goes this has a lot of potential yeah me too me too exciting. a lot of new members of fan clubs probably talking about fan clubs how many uh, of them did you actually meet during your US tour in July a lot Interesting questions. I know it's been a few, uh, especially in, in South Bend when we were doing the, the pre-game activation stuff before the Liverpool game, which, which were in, 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 in the Notre Dame Stadium, Notre Dame University. Um, I met a, lot, a, a ton of fans and uh, they were telling me, oh, we're from this town and we're coming from that town. I really don't uh, remember where they were all from, but I, I do remember that the, the uh, Borussia Dortmund fan club Midwest, which is based, I think, in Chicago, and, uh, uh, and the Brooklyn Borussia, oh, wow. the, the fan club out of New York, was, uh, they were there as well. That's amazing. So, yeah, they were there as well, at least with a couple of guys, and I was uh, happy to hang out with them, have a, have a cold drink with them, <laughs> because it was really, really hot and humid in, in South Bend. Uh, but that was great, and it was great to see how the the fans supported uh, the club and mm -hmm. how it uh, evolved over over the last couple of years. Oh, yeah, I believe now. that. Yeah. That's nice. By the way, um, for our last episode, we talked about how you were able to increase the number of fan clubs during your last visit. Is there a new number? Is there a new increase of fan clubs? Uh, there are new ones. I, I know that. I know that we are we are uh, slightly above twenty fan clubs now in the in the US. I don't know what the number was last time i think it was 15 or something so I, i'm not sure so so it's been a, a couple of new ones uh showing up and that's just just uh, good stuff to see i was all over the world in between those two usa trips i was in asia as well and the number was increasing there too so overall uh the attention uh, Borussia dortmund gets um especially in the us and the 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 growth of the market there and the interest in bbb is is just Good to see. It's fun to be part of it. It's fun to, to to go and 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 see those people and see the the development there. It's it's just it's just good that people appreciate the work we do. It's uh, it's good that, that they are interested in the story of the club in the in the in the uh, performance the team puts on the on the pitch. Mm, that's really cool. We also have the pleasure to announce exciting news. You will be in New York soon again, right? Can you tell us more about that? Yes, I'm happy to come back uh, to the Big Apple, and uh, I'm not just coming back for for private matter. Obviously, I'm I'm gonna visit the Brooklyn Borussia fan club, and we're gonna have a, 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 a let's say fan party, at least a small one, uh, watching the game together. It's gonna be the the game of two of my former clubs. So obviously, BVB is one of them. The other one is Werder Bremen. Yay. So uh, I'm happy to be with them to watch that game. And I think it's on the 20... 
Oh, let me let me just check real quick. Mm-hmm. It's the twenty twenty sure. eighth. 28th of September. So it's a month from now, a little bit more than a month from now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to see what they do uh, exciting. when the game is on, how they celebrate, uh, hopefully at least <laughs> celebrate when <laughs> my team will win. Um, now I'm really looking forward to it, meeting the other members of the club, uh, seeing the bar where they always watch the games, hang out with them, have a chat. And uh, yeah. Just uh, be part of that event. So that's that's the big news. 28th of September, Ovo is going to be in New York and <laughs> watching a BVB game. I will definitely Burst. be there. That sounds cool. Yeah, I hope so. So everybody who can make it, uh, I don't know how many people fit in that uh, location actually, but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it's going to be crowded. Hopefully it's going to be uh, packed and uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a great game. I will enjoy it. Definitely. <laughs> so are there tickets our listeners can buy or is there some RSVP that we have to send out? Where do they get the info? I, I think uh, any news regarding that will be available via the, the Brooklyn person itself and oh, okay. they're probably their homepage or, or mm. their contact. So it's not a BVB event. It's a, <laughs> it's a event which I take part and obviously the BVB will take part in with my persona, but uh, it's a Brooklyn Brosen event mm-hmm. and I'm going to join. So any information regarding that should be available via the Brooklyn Brosen uh, and their homepage. Or okay, their perfect. Site. We will add a link down in the, the description. I can imagine the Brooklyn Brosen are probably really excited to have a special guest there. Actually, I, I'm just a bvb fan wanting to join <laughs> and i <laughs> promised it uh, i promised it to those guys that i will come and see what they're doing and come and join and watch a game with them and when i do promise something then usually i uh, i follow up on it so that's what i'm doing now the club is interested in in staying connected with the fans that's part of our of of our dna so once once there is a, a fan base somewhere we have to have to keep it going we have to to uh get them to feel that they're really part of the family and it's my obligation it's my my not my duty it's my i'm happy to to be the one who who keeps this bond alive and and, and is able to go and, and meet the guys and talk to them and give them news and, and get back some feedback uh, which i can take to the club in in case there is something good or bad and uh yeah i'm just happy to to be in that position and now the brooklyn Bruson are are the ones who 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 get me and hopefully they <laughs> they feel lucky <laughs> and I'm going to join them. I hope they are happy sure. too because I'm certainly are happy. So that means listen up. I'm uh, happy, not are happy. <laughs> so that means listen up at the fan clubs, huh? This is what you get to everybody listening. So uh, <laughs> when you when you commit as a true fan club and 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 organize fan club with the BVB, then you will get me <laughs> or somebody else to come and watch a game with you. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, a lot of times it's me traveling to the US and, and meet the guys. I'm trying to do my, my uh, give it my, my best and, and try the best I can to, to make it a fun experience for everybody. Mm. So are there any other US plans for the future? Anything coming up soon? I mean, in particular, um, the, the team was, was in the US uh, like three times in a row now, like end of end of this the like second last season uh beginning of last season beginning of this season so um i don't know exactly what what's what are the next plans but there is a a a worldwide market which the the team obviously has to has to be part of so uh I will be going to the US a lot. I know that already. Not just the the New York trip. There's more uh, coming after that. And uh, the fan is re- uh, the, the the club is really um, interested in keep that bond and that that connection going. So there will be fan fan events. Uh, obviously, we we're working with the academy stuff, and we're trying to expand that and 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 get a get it to grow really fast and be big. We 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 want to be present in the US. I'm I'm not sure that the team is able to to make it next summer again, since I uh, mentioned already that there are different markets and we only have th- that one team to get to travel the world. So uh, probably they're going to be somewhere else in the world. But the club will show uh, some some uh, presence uh, in the US, whether to me or other legends. We have a legend team. I don't know where we're traveling with the legends team. That's always interesting. So you get a, a little bit of the history 
uh, from the club uh, and, and see those guys play. And we've been to to India. We've been to to uh, Asia. At, uh, let's say Hong Kong it was the last trip. Exactly. So um, that's always fun, and I think it's great for the fans to see the 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 older guys like me and even older like uh, than me uh, to come and visit and play and get in touch and talk to them. So I don't know about that, but there is a lot of uh, activation going on in the U.S. We keep that going. We want to keep that bond and, and, and grow the market, obviously. We want to expand the academy. So all this stuff is happening, um, even though probably the team is uh, going somewhere else next summer. Mm -hmm. I was following your Legends tour on Instagram a lot. It must be so cool and interesting to see all those places and play games at all those places. This is, uh, I mean, this was a full right. wall tour. It is interesting and it's so much fun because there's no pressure. So the, the, the Legends team travels with a lot of fun and no pressure at all. Uh, obviously, we want to win the, the games, but it's it's more about, um, yeah, getting the, the brand, the name, the, the club, uh, 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 the club out there in the world. And, and it's so much fun for all these guys doing it and, and getting to wear the jersey again, getting to, to work with the fan clubs, getting to, to work with the academies everywhere in the world that's mm. so much fun uh and be part of it so it's a real honor for us and i think that's what you what you uh feel when when the team uh is traveling so mm. that's great stuff and i'm happy that the the club started it uh like a little over a year ago now it sounds like a school reunion like going on tour with schoolmates right it is actually i i have not played with all of these players but obviously you know a lot of them uh over the years you get to know the the players from different eras than than your yours uh but to play with them and and do it over and over again every now and then that's that's really fun it's like a yeah like a reunion like you said and it's it's like a field trip too so that's a lot of fun It's a lot of nonsense going on, and you can see all of that via Instagram. Uh, it's really, it's really, it's really fun. It's just, I'm just happy to to be able to do that. Yeah, I believe that it sounds really cool. Talking about traveling, um, is there any fan club or any location in the U.S. which you would like to maybe, let's say, connect next to maybe travel there and have a cold beer with them next? Any favorites? <laughs> I mean, I'm always happy to connect with, with all of the fan clubs and all over the place. When, when you ask me and I could choose or pick, uh, I had a great time in, in Los Angeles uh, the last time the, the team was there and, and myself. It's one of my most favorite cities all over the world. And I know we have a fan club there, uh, the Borussia Dortmund fan club Los Angeles, I guess it is. And I wouldn't mind being invited by them to, to join <laughs> and have a, a viewing party. Uh, It's always nice to to travel uh, to travel to Los Angeles. So, but I'm as I mentioned, uh, no matter what city and what fan club, um, if they if they uh, if they want to have me, I'm always trying to do my best to come and visit them, have a, a viewing party, have a have a nice fan event. Um, I the 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 club is working on on making things happen for for every organized fan club. So that would be just great to to keep that going and 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 be part of it. Mm. Let's see how far the podcast will travel. Maybe we can find someone from the LA Borussen to contact. Yeah, maybe. That Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you, Marina. It was great. Thanks again to Patrick for taking the time and th thanks to all of you for tuning in. If you would like more information about the BVB International Academy, the Amazon documentary, as well as the watch party Patrick is attending on September 28th, please check the podcast description. We added all the links for you. Visit our website www.german-in-newyork.com for more information and hear you soon. Music